In this part of the series, we'll import the materials we have created for our jacket into Painter and export maps to texture the jacket in Unreal Engine. Let's right-click on the package and select the option to send it to Substance 3D Painter. Once it loads, drag and drop it onto the mesh. You can access the exposed parameters and by switching the mask, the material will automatically look for the edges of the UV shells and it will create padding along them. By the way, you can ignore all the other layers in my stack as I'm not using them. The padding is now way too puffy. Let's reduce it. Luckily, we have created and exposed a puffiness parameter earlier in Designer. Bear in mind that this is not an accurate representation of the final mesh in Unreal, but just a preview of the displacement. By navigating to the shader settings and increasing the displacement tessellation, we can modify the scale to something more suitable. Let's set it to 0.01. .01. That seems to work fine. Let's also reduce the puffiness parameter of the material. Okay, now it's time to have a look at the stitching and puckering parameters. Change the puckering amount to zero to see what it contributes. Now we have a better understanding of what it does. Don't forget to turn it back up. Next, increase the metallic and modify the fabric color. Let's go full metallic here. and select the cyan for the fabric. This looks good. We can now tweak the stitching color to something darker to contrast with the main fabric. Great, let's save our project and go ahead to export our textures. We need to select the destination folder and set the output templates to Unreal Engine 4, packed, specifying the file type as PNG 8 bits and setting the size to 8K. Let's now go over to the Unreal project. Import or re-import the outer part of the jacket. Copy the location and rotation of the mannequin and paste them onto the jacket. Then right-click and import the textures that we just exported from Painter. You can place them anywhere you like, but it makes sense to place them in a dedicated folder for this design. By double-clicking on the texture, you can enter the texture editor. The next step is to change the compression mode of the color map to BC7. This will give us better quality. The normal map has already been given the correct compression setting at import. The packed texture is best set to masks, no sRGB, as this contains three grayscale maps. Next, create a new material and give it a unique name. Let's double-click the new material to open it in the Material Editor. Shift-select the three maps and drag them into the Material Editor. Line the map and connect the base color and the normal. The packed map contains ambient occlusion on the red channel, roughness on the green channel and metallic on the blue channel. So let's connect these. Unreal gives you a preview of the material as you're working with it. Close the window and save the material. And now you can drag it into the jacket mesh. To get a full quality preview, let's go in path tracing mode. This will give us an approximation of the final render. There's one more thing we need here. Let's momentarily go back to Painter to export a height map. We can take this into Unreal to use as a displacement map. Isolate the height channel and increase the puffiness to 1. Proceed to export the texture with a preset set to document channels and the file type as EXR32 float bits, exporting only the height map. If you prefer, you can create a preset for exporting the height alongside your Unreal maps. 
But in this case, exporting separately is easier. Back in Unreal, let's import the height map. Changing the virtual texture streaming to off is necessary for using this map for displacement. In the texture editor, let's change the compression settings to HDR compressed. Now, in the modeling window, Select the jacket and set the displacement type to Texture 2D Map, loading the displacement map into its slot. Set the intensity to 0.5 and the subdivisions to 5 or whatever the highest is for you, as your settings may vary. Set the displacement map value base to 0 and the UV scale to 1, as this map covers the whole UV tile. Then fine-tune the display's intensity until you're happy with the result. Then click Accept to permanently apply the displacement to the jacket mesh. Keep in mind that displacement is baked into the geometry and becomes an integral part of it, unlike normal or bump mapping, which fakes detail on the mesh. Let's also check in path tracing mode to see what it looks like. Before we finish this, let's check the results through the camera we've set up in path tracing mode and save the project. The whole project is now complete, so in the next and final video, let's have a look at what we have learned in this series, along with a few examples of work I've made with these techniques.